एवरीवन वेलकम टू गुरु के तरह नाइस टू मीट यू अगेन विथ अनादर न्यू एयर इंटरेस्टिंग लेसन बिफोर स्टार्ट इन द लेसन यू कैन सी दिस पिक्चर्स लुक एट द पिक्चर्स नाउ यू कैन सी पिरामिड्स ब्रिज विसक लैंटर्न एंड आल्सो रूफ ऑफ द हाउस डाइन नाउ व्हाट इज द special shape of these figures you can see a triangular shape so today we are going to do 26 lesson in your textbook construction of triangles page number 114 to 121 today we are going to do that construction of triangles so first of all i explain about what is the meaning of triangle do you know the meaning of the triangle okay before we learn about that you can identify that objectives by studying this lesson you will be able to identify that the sum of the lengths of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the remaining side and construct a triangle when the lengths of all the sides are given then we have to learn about the what is the meaning of triangle the triangle is a closed plane figure you know about that so we can define as a closed plane figure which has three sides is a triangle so now i draw a line this line we can called side there are three sides in a triangle and now you can see this circle this point we can called vertex there are three vertices for this triangle now you can see this arc indicate angle of the triangle and there are three angles for this triangle now you know meaning of the triangle so in previous grade that means grade 6 and 7 you learned about these triangles and you classified these triangles according to their angles and according to their sides so you can classify these triangles like this classification of triangles according to the length of the side we can separate this into three parts equilateral triangles equilateral triangles means in here the all the sides are equal in this equilateral triangle means all the sides are equal in this triangle the second one isosceles triangle that means there are two sides are equal the finally you can classify this triangle scale in triangle scale in triangle means all the sides are equal then next move to the other part that means according to the angles how to classify these triangles yes you can separate into acute angle triangle that means in this triangles has a acute angle the second one obtuse angle triangle that means there is a obtuse angle finally you can take right angle triangle that means there is a right angle of this triangle now you know how to classify these triangles according to their sides and also according to their angles now next move to the other part that means very important part why because now we are going to construct of these triangles construction of these triangles when we construct these triangles we want compass with a pencil compass with a pencil now you can see and also ruler 
then when we doing this constructions you have to use compass ruler and pencil hope you are ready to start this part okay children now we are going to construct first take your compass again then hold this compass like this you have to hold this compass top of this compass like this then you can rotate now look at that you can mark a point then you can keep your compass point on this point and you can rotate this compass then we can obtain a circle using compass we can obtain a circle also but today we are going to construct of the triangles construction is very important because when we doing all of our paper also there is a questions in constructions Constru construction is very easy and very interesting so hope you are ready to start the lesson construction of straight line segments okay grade 7 also you learnt about that construction of a straight line segment okay children hope you are ready take your compass with a ruler then read the question first construct the straight line segment AB of length 5 centimeters construct the straight line segment AB of length 5 centimeters then first you have to draw a straight line using a ruler now I take ruler and compass draw a straight line using a ruler right then mark a point on the straight line and name it A you can take as you wish any point then mark it A then place the point of the pair of compasses on the point A in here like this on the point A and mark a point on the line which is 5 centimeters then you have to take 5 centimeter from A to B how to obtain that read this again place the point of the pair of compasses on the point A and mark a point on the line which is 5 centimeter from A and name it B now look at that you can obtain 5 centimeters like this there is a ruler then keep your compass point in 0 point then pencil point to 5 centimeters like this then I take 5 centimeters for this compass then you can put keep in here and draw arc like this then mark this point as B ok now we mark point B and you have to complete this construction so draw arc to cut this arc like this now complete that construction that means straight line segment we construct so then we have to construct equilateral triangle first of all we have to construct equilateral triangle look at the question construct an equilateral triangle of side length 6 centimeters that means this side should be 6 centimeters so now we are going to construct the first step 
constructed straight line segment AB of length 6 cm using a pair of compasses and a ruler. Ok Shira, now take, take out your compass and ruler. Then construct a straight line segment AB. Construct a straight line. So you have to construct that straight line. Now you know. Draw a straight line. Like this. Now you can mark a point. I name it as A. Because we have to construct the line segment AB. Then take out your compass and ruler. You have to get the 6 cm for this compass. Then now you know the method. Put your compass point to the 0 and take pencil point to the 6. Okay, then I mark B point. Then this is a B point. Name it as B. Then complete that construction like this. Okay, construct the straight line AB. Now the second step set the pair of compasses and the pencil point are at a distance of 6 cm apart. Place the point of the pair of compasses on the point A and construct an arc. Okay. Then in here the length gap between these two equal to 6 cm. Now we have to construct equilateral triangle that means all the sides are equal. Then again take this compass point in here that means point A. Then draw an arc like this and then take this point B using the same length and cut this arc. Then you can mark this intersection point as C. Set the pair of compasses and the pencil point R at the distance of 6 cm apart. Place the point of the pair of compasses on the point A and construct an arc. Then look at that. Place the point of the pair of compasses at the point B and construct another arc such that it intersects the first arc. We did that. If the arcs do not intersect, look at that. If the arcs do not intersect, place the point of the pair of compasses at A and lengthen the initial arc. That means in here the arc is not enough. That means we cannot cut this arc. You have to produce that arc length and take the intersection point. Then you can name that. So finally, you have to complete this triangle. Join point A and point C. And also in same manner, you have to join B and C point. Now you can see ABC equilateral triangle. This is the construction. When we are doing this uh, construction, you have to use these steps. Then we have to do an activity also. That means in grade 8, you have to identify the conditions for three line segments to be the sides of a triangle. Identify the condition for three line segments to be the sides of a triangle. So today I will give some equals for to do this activity. Then look at that. Take piece of equal of length according to the given table. 
pick any three pieces of equal, place them on a table and see whether a triangle can be formed with the three pieces such that their end points meet. Now, we are going to do that activity. First, look at the table. There are four conditions. Length of the red piece, length of the blue piece, length of the green piece. There are three colors, red, blue and green. And also four conditions. Now I take the first condition. That means 8 cm, 5 cm and 5 cm. Now we are going to form a triangle. The first condition you have to I'll bring, bring some equals, colored equals, here 8 cm, now you can see red one 8 cm, blue one 5 cm and also here 5 cm. Now we have to form the triangle, form the triangle. How to form that triangle? Look at that. When we Keep this equals like this. Now you can see the largest, longest equal equal to 8 centimeters. The other, the sum of the other two are more than 8 centimeters. That means when we take this, now you have to form triangle. I think you can see now there is a triangle okay that means when we take this 8 centimeters 5 centimeter and 5 centimeter you can form triangle why what's the reason look at this when we take the sum of these two sides that means 8 and 5 it it is equal to 13 centimeters. Then 13 centimeter is greater than the other remaining side. The second thing 8 centimeter plus 5 centimeter is equal 13 centimeter. 13 also is greater than 5 centimeters. So finally 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 centimeters. 10 centimeter is greater than the other side that means when we take the sum of two sides it is greater than for the other side in this first condition remember it then we are doing the second condition what is the second one now I take the length 11 centimeters 10 centimeters and 5 centimeters the red color one 11 centimeter the blue one 10 centimeters the green one 5 centimeters now we have to form a triangle using the equals when we keep the longest one like this 11 centimeter here then 10 centimeters, the sum of these two, that means blue and green, when we take these two colors is more than the other one. So, you have to keep like this. I think you can see now. Okay. Using that three pieces, we can form the triangle. Why? What's the reason? Because when we take 11 plus 5 is equal to 16. 16 is greater than the other side. And also 10 plus 5 is equal to 15 centimeters. 15 centimeters is also greater than the remaining side. And finally take 11 plus 10. That means 21. 21 also is greater than the other side. Now we did the second condition also. The first condition and second condition we can make a, we can form the triangles. Look at the third one. In third 
conditions you can see the length 9 centimeter 6 centimeters and 3 centimeters okay children now you can see 9 centimeter equal in red color blue color 6 centimeters and green color 3 centimeters now I keep like this the longest one red color one and keep blue color then take the other piece of equal when we put like this keep like this now you can see the sum of these blue color and green color are equal to the red equal so what is the conclusion of this we cannot form the triangle because there is a gap between these two i hope you can see the gap between these two blue color and red color equals so what is the conclusion of this condition number three when we take the the sum of these nine centimeters plus six centimeters 15 centimeters so 15 centimeter is greater than three centimeter that situation is okay but when we take 9 plus 3 is equal to 12 centimeters 12 centimeter is greater than 6 this one is okay but think about 6 centimeter plus 3 centimeter is 9 9 is equal to the remaining side so in condition third condition when we take the sum of the sides some of the two sides the other uh, remaining side is equal to the the finally when we take the 6 plus 3 also equal to 9 centimeters so 9 also side of this triangle so we can't we cannot form the triangle according to that conditions that means when we take the equal sides that means the when we take the two sides the sum of two sides e is equal to the other one we cannot form the triangle that is the conclusion then next move to the fourth condition look at that 11 centimeters 5 centimeters and 5 centimeters now i take equals like this the red color one 11 centimeter the blue color and green color 5 centimeters then keep like this now you can see the sum of the blue color and green color is less than the red color equal when we keep like this now you can see there is a gap between these two lines that means when we form the triangle you you cannot form a triangle because the lengths are not enough to form that triangles there is a gap between these two so when we take the sum of the sides 11 plus 5 is equal to 16 16 is greater than the remaining side 11 plus 5 also 16 and 16 is greater than the 5 then finally 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 centimeters 10 centimeter is less than the longest side longer side 11 centimeter so 10 centimeter that means 5 plus 5 is less than the 11 centimeter so we can't 
formed a triangle used in that lens. So, what is the conclusion? Look at that. According to the examples, we can take the sum of the lengths of the two pieces is greater than the length of the other piece. In that condition, we can form the triangle. You can form a triangle in that condition. The second condition, the sum of the lengths of the two sides is equal to length of the other piece. Then you cannot form the triangle. Finally, the sum of the length of the two pieces is less than the length of the other piece. Also, we cannot form the triangle. So, to be the side of a triangle, the sum of the length of the two sides is greater than length of the remaining side. That means, when we form a triangle, you have to take the sum of the length of the two sides is more than the other side, more than the remaining side. Now, we can do a question, fill in the blank. To get isosceles triangle, now you know what is the meaning of the isosceles triangle. There are two sides are equal. The length of the side should be 6 centimeters blank and 15 centimeters. So, now you have to give the answer for this blank. This is the isosceles triangle. That means there are two sides are equal and how to find the value of that. 6 centimeters and 15 centimeters. You can give like this. Answer, you can give the answer like this. Look at that. 6, 15. You have to find the other remaining side. Then in here, this is the isosceles triangle. Then you know the, the other remaining side should be 6 centimeter or 15 centimeter. Then when we think the 6 is the answer, then you can guess, take 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 is less than the 15 centimeter. Then you cannot form a triangle using that 6 centimeters. Then when we think about the answer should be 15 centimeters, what happened? 15 plus 15 is 30 centimeters. So, 30 is greater than the remaining side. So, you can obtain this 15 is the answer. And also 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 also is greater than the remaining side. So, you can take the answer as 15 centimeters for this question. We are going to do next part of the lesson. What is this? Construction of triangles. Construction of triangles. Now you know how to construct the line segments. Then we have to construct uh, triangles. Look at that. Read this. Construct the straight line segment KL of length 6 centimeters. Now you have to take your compass. Hope you are ready to construct. Okay, children. Construct the straight line segment KL of length 6 centimeters. Draw a line. Mark a point. Then take the 6 centimeter for this compass using ruler. Then keep your compass point in here and cut this. Again cut from this point in here. Now you can obtain the straight line in 6 centimeters. Then you have to name this as KL. Okay, children. Then the second step, 
construct an arc with a radius of 8 centimeters from K. Construct an arc with radius 8 centimeters from K. Then take 8 centimeters for this compass. Okay, then keep compass point in here and you have to draw an arc. Okay, the other one, construct an arc with a radius of 9 cm from L. Okay, children, then take 9 centimeters for your compass then keep your compass point L then cut this arc that intersect the above arc then name intersection point as M. There is intersection point you have to name as M. Then join the straight line KM and LM. K M join and also you have to join L and M. Okay. Then finally they ask about the name the polygon. Name the polygon. What is this? Now you know this is the triangle, triangular shape. So we can call this polygon as triangle. Then next move to the other part. There is example, example number one. Construct, read the question first. Hope you are ready to construct this triangle. Construct a triangle x, y, z with side lengths x, y is equal to 8 centimeters, x, z is equal to 5 centimeters and y, z is equal to 6 centimeters. Write what type of triangle this is according to the length of the side. Now take your compass again. Now we have to construct a triangle x, y, z. The length are given. First length x, y. Now when we are doing construction we have to draw rough diagrams. First you have to draw a rough diagram using pencils. So read the steps I read the question and you can draw the rough diagram. Now look at that. Construct triangle XYZ with the side length XY8. Here X, here Y, 8 centimeters. And XY is X2, Z, X, Z is 5. So 5 centimeters I marked. And Y is 8. 6 centimeters is the rough diagram. Now you can see. Then we have to construct that. Okay, now hope you are ready to start the construct. We have to construct a triangle XYZ. Then take 8 centimeters for using that. First, I take 8 centimeters. Okay, then draw a line. Then mark point X. X, Y, 8 centimeters. Then draw this line segment. 
here y then complete that line x y 8 centimeters then you have to take x z that means 5 centimeters again you have to take 5 centimeters for this compass using that ruler okay then put your compass in here and draw arc like this then y is it length is equal to 6 centimeter now you know the method again you have to take 6 centimeters then keep your compass point from this y then cut the previous arc Okay, now you can obtain that intersection point. That intersection point is Z. Then we have to mark, join this X Z and Y Z. Now you can obtain x, y, z triangle. Write what type of triangle this is according to the length of the sides. The question asks about the type of the triangle according to their sides. So in here 5 cm, 8 cm and 6 cm. So sides are not equal to each other. Then this is should be scale in triangle. What is the name of this? Scale in triangle. Okay, then we have to do the second example. Read the example. Construct the triangle of side lengths. Mn is equal to 7.6 centimeters. Mo is equal to NO, also equal 5.2 centimeters. Write what type of triangle this is according to the length of the sides. So, again we have to construct this triangle. Then you can draw a rough diagram. How to draw the rough diagram? Using pencil you have to draw the rough diagram. Construct the triangle of the side Mn 7.6 centimeters M. N. Then M O and N O both sides are equal 5.2 centimeters 5.2 centimeters in here O. Now we are going to construct 7.6 centimeters. Then take 7.6 cm using that ruler. Now you know the method. Okay, then draw a line. Mark point M. Then 7.6 cm in here you have to draw that arc then complete that length name that point as n now we have to draw 5.2 cm again we have to take this 5.2 for this compass Okay, children. Now draw this arc using that M point, and again you can draw another arc in using that same length 
keep your compass point in here A then there is a intersection point that point is O then you have to complete that diagram construction that means join M O and N O Now construction is ok, but you have to write the type of the triangle according to the sides. Here when we consider about the side of these 5.2, 5.2 and 7.6. So in here there are two sides are equal that means it should be isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means there are two sides are equal in here also in same features. So, next we move to the other part of the lesson, exercise, construct triangles with the given side lengths by using a pair of compasses and a ruler. Construct triangles with the given side length by using a pair of compasses and a ruler. Ok children, now you know how to construct, now you can construct these triangles with me, hope you are ready, take your compass, pencil and ruler again, read the question, the first one 8, 8, 10 centimeters, 8, 8, 10 centimeters, then Using compass, take 8 centimeters. You have to draw a rough diagram in here 8 centimeters, 8 centimeters, and 10 centimeters is the triangle. Then draw a line, mark a point. Take 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters. Then draw that arc, I think you can see now, then complete that straight line in here 10 centimeters, then you have to obtain 8 centimeters, that means take 8 centimeter using that ruler again, okay. Then mark using that point, keep compass point in here, then draw this arc, then using the other point, cut this arc, there is intersection point, then join these two points. Okay, Chira. This is the answer for simple equation. Then we move to the second question that means 5.5, 5 centimeter and 7.5. So there is this decimal numbers. Be careful about take the length. Then take 5.5 centimeters. First I draw the rough diagram because it is easy to when we doing constructions 5 centimeters and 7.5 centimeters. This is the rough diagram. Now you can draw a line. Always we have to draw a line first, then mark a point. Then take 5.5, when we take decimal numbers, be careful about that length. Okay, then I take 5.5, then draw arc.
in here 5.5 then take the 5 centimeters the other side then keep your compass point here and draw an arc then take the third side 7.5 Keep here and cut this off. Now you can see there is a intersection point. So join, finally you have to join these lines. Okay, then we today we did some constructions. So now we are talking about the summary of the lesson. Today we are talking about the triangles and also construction of triangles. That means the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than, than the length of the remaining side. And to construct the triangle when the lengths of the three sides are given, we construct the triangles and we discuss about the uh, conditions of the triangles. So, I hope you can understand this lesson. If you want to watch again and again that lessons, then there are YouTube channel, channel NIE. Goodbye.